KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up 102, NASDAQ up 15, S&P's up 9.5, and, and welcome to Quad Witching, folks. End of the year also, uh, and what you have with Quad Witches is that uh, the differential is that you have options on the future market uh, and the S&P uh, expiring on the open, and they ran that S&P all the way up to uh, 32.24. Right now we're at 32.22. Gold, gold contract trading at uh, down two dollars at fourteen eighty two an ounce. You get silver up five cents, seventeen dollars twenty one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down fifty seven cents, sixty dollars sixty one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds are going to get interesting here. So notes and bonds, folks, yesterday came down, rejected lower price as it got into the strength that was established out here last Friday, as well as the downdraft that had been out there since November seventh. And guess what? We're going after it again. And it hasn't got to, they haven't got to the lows of yesterday. Bottom line, I expect you're going to see another rejection of lower price out here. Yesterday, we did 1.2 million contracts coming into uh, 2.7. And we're at 393 right now. That can definitely do another 1.2. But the bottom line is that you have no sellers down at these lower levels. If we get over, you take a look at the 30-year bond. Same type of setup inside the 30-year bond. 30-year bond right now. Uh, yesterday, you had the test at the low, lower end. Uh, you're slightly above that area today. You're getting a contraction of volume once again. We were going into 487,000 contracts yesterday. We did 253 and rejected lower price. Now, the 30-year looks like it's actually going to do less volume than yesterday. King dollar. King dollar is now trading inside its higher trading range once again. What that has to do with is that you had that British pound come down from the 305 level into the, uh, I mean the 135 level, into the 130 level. Uh, bottom line, we have King Dollar right now of 243 ticks. You're trading 97,621, and we'll see how it basically handles. It looks like it wants to run to this 97,811. We'll see how it handles that, that number. If we go up and we take a look at the uh, British pound out here, what you're going to see is that the pound right now is trading at a price point of 130.04. And bottom line is that that was a fast and furious way up as well as coming back. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back.